a Gambian innovator in the diaspora Samba Sabali, in partnership with Christian Fener, a German national, is set to introduce an advanced solar cooking machine aimed at elevating the burden of firewood usage on Gambian women, reducing acute respiratory diseases, and promoting an eco friendly environment. The initiative seeks to provide cleaner, safe, and more sustainable alternative to traditional cooking methods, which heavily rely on firewood and charcoal. This conventional method not only contributes to deforestation, but also exposes women and children to hazardous smoke, leading to severe respiratory complications and other health risks. According to Samba Savali, the project was inspired by his first-hand experience witnessing the struggle of Gambian women who spend long hours collecting firewood and inhaling toxic fumes while cooking. He believes that the introducing solar-powered cooking technology would be a game-changer for many households across the country. He calls on government and private investors to help Gambian women. To request the intervention of government and private sector so we can help the Gambian society to benefit from this environmental friendly innovation. Um, next to visible support, this support, um, yeah, this can be door opening to um, suppliers and to vocational training centers. Um, to equip this with appropriate tools and machines, um, you know, to make the construction and uh, the, the building of this uh, solar cooking parts part of the uh, curricula of the Gambian schools. I guess this will be a very interesting thing in the future. The solar cooking machine utilizes renewable solar energy to efficiently cook meals without the need of for firewood or charcoal. It is designed to be affordable user-friendly and suitable for both urban and rural settings. Christian Fenner, an expert in renewable energy technology, emphasized that the cooking machine is built to maximize solar efficiency and so that it functions effectively in the Gambia's climate. He highlighted that the device would not only ease the cooking process, but also significantly reduce carbon emission, making it a sustainable alternative for communities. Friends in Gambia, that there are irritations about climate, that it is not as it was in the years before. That made up my mind. I read that at 1900, some 120 years ago, Gambia had less than 100,000 inhabitants. Now, Gambia has more than 2 million. A woodland that was able to give firewood enough for these less than 100,000 is a hard stand if there are so many people now. That is one, not the only, but one reason why desert can grow and the vegetation is decreasing. Jadarari flying in by airplane and it was evening hours. It was impressive to see all the smoke on the ground from open fires. So one advantage will be you will have better airs the more you use solar cooking. You experience the same thing when you are in the traffic jam in the combo. You will have better air to breathe than what you have now. That is one of the big advantages. Experts warn that prolonged exposure to smoke from traditional cooking method contributes to acute respiratory infection eye diseases and lung complications, especially among women and children who spend long hours in enclosed cooking spaces. Additionally, the increase in demand for firewood and charcoal is accelerating deforestation, worsening climate change and contributing to desertification in parts of the Gambia. The Sabali Fena Solar Cooking Initiative is positioned as a solution to these present challenges offering a cleaner and more sustainable way to prepare food. Yes. A relaxed way of cooking so you have not to concentrate so much on it you can do other things while you cook and as our concept is that the cookers will be constructed in the country this is a business opportunities for small craftsmen shop so they can co construct these cookers they can repair them if need be and that can be a business advantage of saving a lot of energy uh, no suited pots, um, no firewood or charcoal 
no scorching, um, no tie, no smoke. Time for multitasking too. Uh, like you can, as a woman cooking, you can be taking care of other things in your daily activities. You can be cooking and then leave the cooking pot inside this uh, cooking box. Um, you go and do other things like you care of fillings. You can be cleaning. You can be washing, whatever. Kadi Sabali is a health professional who believes that this innovation could go a long way in safeguarding the health of women. Well, in using firewood is that the smoke. Some some women are there. They are they are having a lot of respiratory infections just because of this smoke that they inhale from the firewood. Some are having allerg severe allergic reactions just because of the smoke that they re that they inhale from the, the cooking with firewood. Some are at the risk of gaseous explosion just because of using gas cookers, forgetting to close them. And at the end of the day, kids come around or maybe mistakenly you yourself, you light something and it catch fire, burn the compound, or sometimes even you yourself, you are at the risk of burning. And for this one, the only thing that you need is solar energy to use it. And it Binti Jalo and Fatu Bajo are married women who highlight the high cost of charcoal and firewood, noting that it poses challenges for women. However, they noted that the solar cooking box create convenience while allowing them to multitask. They call on the authorities to partner with Sabali and his colleague to increase the availability of the machine to support women. As the Gambia continues to push for renewable energy solution, this initiative could mark a significant step towards clean cooking, women empowerment and environmental conservation. With its potential to improve health, save time and protect the forest, the solar cooking machine could revolutionize household cooking in the Gambia and beyond. For TFN News, I am Aliu